it's a hot day in July. There hardly any wind blowing. It's right at 90. Humid. Yeah, it just hit town. My throat was dry. <laughs> it was mid-July. Just last week it was 4th of July. So Big Mike's going to try to jackknife the rig down in here. After, it must not weigh a whole lot, but it stretched out quite a bit. I just hope we can... I thought it might have been a semi, or, you know, a actual tractor trailer type deal. But... So we can get in there. Once it gets in the gate, everything else ought to be a piece of cake. So we walked over, boy, that's a big container. <laughs> I don't know. You know, I was going to go with a 20-footer originally, but then you would have cussed yourself because you didn't have enough. And this way, you should have enough. But I'm glad I moved my truck out of there. And we'll see if we got everything done right. And I'm glad it didn't rain because this hill, that grass would have been slick. Mike says it should be a piece of cake. Came all the way from Kansas City, Missouri this morning. I'm glad that truck's four-wheel drive. That's Mama. I don't fall over backward, walking backward. Oh, he's doing really an excellent job. Every day I have something done down here, it seems like it's always a hundred degrees. But with that said, that's July. A little correction. I got the skid steer here if I need to move anything. I'll tear anything that's there out. There he goes. Now he jackknifed it in here. Oh yeah, he's doing a good job. Great job. Oh, we got a piece of cake going now. Pushing a little rock, but I didn't know those ramps was going to be down there that low. So we got her. Oh, this is going to be great. Well, that got it. That's what we wanted it. Now, boy, great job, Mike. Boy, that's a big container. Not too bad. Yeah, I've been around long enough to know what a guy needs. What's that? I said I've been around long enough to know a guy needs space. Right, right. You know, and this was the most con convenient spot w that I had because yeah I'll definitely have it might be a little bit tight but I mean I should have a problem getting past those two little trees there oh okay should, should be no problem at all you got a hydraulic lift on that thing huh what's that that's got a hydraulic lift on it correct yeah it's a, yeah you got it all went down and uh 
all the way from Kansas City, Missouri. I guess I was a little belligerent this morning. I had a lot of people wanting my my person in a lot of places, and you know, you know how that goes. One person, one place. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, when you, when you pay something. Yeah. yeah, I was, you know, I was just wondering what time Monday. <laughs> you know? Right, right. Yeah. No, yeah. I don't blame you at all. Yeah, because like I said, I got people. Yeah, this time of year you become the most wanted outlaw in the land. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Uh, and everybody wants to be first. And oh yeah. I don't have that attitude, but you know you do have other obligations. <laughs> this is. Right. But this Lingerie. is. Well, you really got to started to sprinkle when I was a little. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I got a couple of drops on the windshield, and I said, well. I haven't got a phone call, so that's always good. Well, that dang hill, that grass, it's... Oh, I'm sure that doesn't take too much to get slick. Yeah, yeah. Uh, then we... I don't know what the hell is I going to do then. Right. <laughs> you show up with a container. And yeah, that would have that would have been a little tricky. Yeah. I guess I ought have just took the skid steer and cut the wet off. Push, push it off. It's just grass. It'll go back. That's a nice truck you got. Appreciate it. That, that's gas, ain't it? No, no it's, it's diesel. It's a diesel? Oh, yeah. they, sure, they sure got them quiet. Yeah, it's nice. Oh, this is going to be a beautiful sight. I mean, a beautiful sight. And yeah. I said, oh my God, that looks awful big to go in there. But there it is. Oh man, everything electric. Uh, this is dynamite. Yeah, yeah. That's how they brought my cabin in. Oh, really? They've got a cabin up there and they brought it on. A, and the trailer would move left and right. Hmm. You know, yeah, so they could yeah. move it to. Yeah. Oh, you mean like the axles? Yeah, yeah the whole, whole like thing would shift. There was like a Oh, I, I, I never seen a trailer like that before. Yeah, they, they move. They could move it left and right. I, I, huh. It was awesome with that trailer. I don't know what it cost, but yeah. When I used to, uh, I've been in business for myself a year and a half. I drove big trucks for 14 years before this. Then the last several, I managed the haul side of a tow company in Kansas City, Kansas. And we had, um, that's where I really got into doing containers. And we had one made by Landall that was a single axle tandem wheel, you know, dual wheel. And it would, it was all hydraulic, but the axle would slide almost halfway forward. Yeah. So you get in and out, you know, tighter places. But they don't make anything in a gooseneck like that that I know of anyway. But yeah, that was pretty they, awesome. They, they do have some pretty, some pretty crazy setups out there nowadays. Well, hopefully this goes pretty smooth. Might have, might have to fudge it a little bit because it's going to probably try to slide to the right, to the yeah. driver's side rather. Well, that tree will catch it. <laughs> right, which, I mean, it, it, it won't come off or anything. If, if once in a while it'll happen, yeah. I'll just have to put the trailer down, hook the winch up, nudge it back over. But uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. It's it it's loaded a little bit further to the passenger side, so yeah. I, I think we should be good. Oh, I, yeah, I can see that tilt now. And then before we get started, are you just wanting it on the gravel, or yes. are you guys putting anything underneath? Nope, it? nope, just, just gonna be on the gravel. Perfect. Okay. That'll yeah, last the rest of my life at 72. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can see it's tilted a little. I think we'll be all right. Yeah, that big tree's going to hold it, you know. Which it only needs to go about a foot, and then it'll be right inside the, that rail. Yeah. Well, here we go. Yeah. I'll just 
put it down, measure it over with the winch, and then it'll try to do the same thing, but it's, I don't think it'll physically be able to go far enough. Yeah, we could if you want to do that. Yeah, that'd work too. Got one thing in here. I put it in here. Woo here comes Dawn. Now how do you get out? <laughs>
Got everything in there and room for more. <laughs>